Becoming a professional footballer is one of the top five most desired jobs by children in the UK. So how hard actually is it to be paid to play football? Football is statistically the most popular sport in the world with an estimated 3.5 billion fans. With almost half the world's population being football fans, it's no surprise that so many people want to play it professionally. So surely the chance of making it pro is ridiculously low. And by no means is this video trying to discourage any young footballers that are trying to make it pro, but rather to show just how talented these Premier League stars actually are. To make this a bit more manageable, we're just going to be talking about making it pro in England because that's where most of my audience is from and in my opinion the Premier League is the greatest league in the world. So in England over 11 million people play football which is almost one in every five people. 8.5 million of them are adults and 3.35 million of them are children aged from 5 to 15. So let's narrow that down to just the children aged from 5 to 15. There are around 6.6 .6 million children in that age bracket which means over half of them play football. Out of the 3.3 35 million children that play football, 2.5 of them are boys, and 1.5 of those 2.5 million play organised youth football. The most common route to professional football is through the youth academy system. There are around 12,500 footballers in the England youth academy system. This means from the 1.5 million boys that play competitive youth football, only 0.8% or 1 in 120 boys will be scouted. More than 75% of them will be released from the ages of 13 to 16. And for those boys that are given a scholarship at 16, years old, almost 98% of them will no longer be in the top five tiers of English football by the time of their 18th birthday. The odds get even more slim when 1 in 50 players that get a professional Premier League contract will no longer be playing at the top level by the time they're 22. So if we look back at the 1.5 million children that play competitive youth football, only 180 of them will play professional football for a Premier League side, which is 0.012% or 1 in 8,333 people. And even for the boys that make it into the academy process, only 0.04% of them will play for a Premier League side. And to further back this up, as little as 13% of players that played in the Premier League last season were homegrown academy players from their respective clubs. This goes to show how competitive the football world is and how many incredibly talented players will get released by clubs. However, there are exceptions to these numbers as some players have their rise to professional football later on in their careers. For example, I'm pretty sure most of you will know who Jamie Vardy is. for Sheffield Wednesday who were actually the team he supported growing up in the Sheffield area. However, at 16 years old, Jamie Vardy was released from the academy for apparently being too small. As a result, he joined the youth team of his local club, Stocksbridge Park Steels. He spent four years in the youth and reserve team before breaking into the first team, earning £30 a week. He's to play it left. Brings it inside. Oh. Oh, what a good goal. What a good goal. He brought it from his own half. After numerous good performances, a lot of clubs higher in the football pyramid showed interest in Jamie Vardy. And in 2010, he signed for FC Halifax Town for £15,000. He scored the winner on his debut against Buxton and ended up being the club's highest goal scorer for that season. This impressive season saw him make another step in his career, joining Fleetwood Town, who were then in the National League. Vardy continued his prolific goal scoring record, bagging 31 goals for the season and was the highest league goal scorer. This earned Fleetwood their first ever promotion to the Football League. In 2012, Vardy earned himself a move to championship side Leicester City for £1 million, which is a non-league record. He struggled with form in his first season and got his fair share of criticism from the fans. This caused him to consider if he even wanted to play football anymore, but luckily Nigel Pearson, the manager for Leicester City at the time, convinced him to stay. In the 2013 season, Vardy was a lot better, scoring 16 goals as Leicester City were promoted to the Premier League as champion. 
champions. Jamie Vardy has come from playing for his local team in Sheffield in 2010 to a Premier League striker in 2014. He has since won the league with Leicester, played for England 26 times, won the Golden Boot and is an inspiration for kids not to give up. Vardy could win it here for them! So what other routes can you take to try and become a professional football player? Well, if you're not in a youth academy and you've left school, there's the option to play for a football college. These are a lot easier to join in comparison to getting scouted for a professional club. However, you'd still need to be a good footballer as there is limited spaces. These football colleges give you the opportunity to study different areas of football as well as playing five days a week. The programs are quite intense and require you to play a lot of football, but this subsequently improves your skills and understanding of the game. You're able to compete in league and cup games, which are often at a very high level. Many football colleges will travel abroad to play in tournaments where scouts from top teams will be in attendance. The program typically lasts two to three years and gives you time to develop and set up for under 23s or men's football. Not to mention the chance of getting a scholarship abroad in countries like America, New Zealand, Australia where you can continue your full-time footballing journey. In America, for example, there are universities which can lead you on to getting drafted for MLS teams. Here is Maxi Morales. He can motor. Harrison! That is gorgeous! Now there are some more unconventional ways to start a career in professional football. In my last video I spoke about Hashtag United and how Scott Pollock was able to use his time at Hashtag United to propel himself to the professional scene. He entered the first ever Hashtag Academy alongside many other hopeful young lads. Scott really stood out from the start and caught the eye of Hashtag United player Seb Brown. Remember the name, Scott Pollock. As many of you will know, Scott won the Academy and went on to have a really good year with Hashtag United. Now Scott originally joined Northampton Town's Youth system as an under 14 and I believe that his time at Hashtag United heavily influenced the decision to bring him back to the club on a permanent professional contract. Now there are certain factors that are going to swing the odds of becoming a professional footballer more in your favour. But ultimately it depends on natural talent and how hard you're prepared to work. How often you practice, whether that's training, playing football with mates or practicing some new skills in the garden will all help you get to a higher level. To conclude, it's obviously extremely hard to become a professional footballer with it being the most popular sport in the world. The odds will constantly be against you, but that doesn't mean it's impossible and you shouldn't try your best. And at the end of the day, someone's got to be the next Messi, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, De Bruyne, and you never know, it could be you watching this video right now.